Good morning, guys. Today, I'm going to be just vlogging my day for you. Um, before this video, this vlog gets started, I just want to let you guys know that I'm sorry that I didn't post, um, like, in, I think, two weeks. I'm working on a really fun video that's taking me a long time to do. It's a long process, but it's probably going to be coming out next week, so it'll be the video after this. Um... Yeah, so just watch me in my vlog. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup now, just cause I'm feeling a little spicy today, you know? So, basically, I've been really loving the makeup I've been doing lately. final makeup look and now I have to fix my hair so that it actually looks good and yeah okay I did my hair I know it's like really extra like I feel like an Ariana Grande moment um but I really like it also I'm about to fix this don't worry I hate these baby hairs but yeah and this is my outfit of the day I'm just wearing this um black tank top and then this like sweatshirt material skirt from Calvin Klein and yeah it's pretty extra but I'm really feeling it so those are the vibes I literally feel like Ariana Grande oh my god I love this anyway um <laughs> so basically today let me show you what I'm gonna do okay so basically today I'm supposed to help my grandma cook dinner we're gonna cook like a really fun meal and everything and I'm also going to be trying out this new recipe, uh, a dessert recipe. So you guys will watch me make that later. But I want to show you guys something really exciting that I got. So this was kind of like a while ago, but there's this like Nike basketball purse. And it's like this tiny like pink basketball that um, you can like, that's a purse like that someone made into a purse. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. Like the second I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I need to like, I need to make that. And then I went um, to like this Nike outlet and I found the actual basketball and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I need to make the purse now. Like it's a sign. So I'm going to try and make this purse. I don't have all the parts yet. I think I'm going to order this like white purse off Amazon because basically it's like white chunky handles and then it also has like gold, a gold like longer handle. So I'm going to attach both of them, make this into a purse and I think it's going to look so sick. Like just imagine you're like have this such a cool outfit and then boom like this purse like it would obviously match with this like honestly so i'm very very invested in making this purse but i'll probably do that later this week and yeah i just made um some egg salad which is really weird i never make egg salad but i made that today i was just in the mood and then i'm gonna have it with like some triscuit crackers it sounds good to me and yeah that's my breakfast Okay, so I changed my outfit. I kept the shirt, but I just added this black um, sweatshirt on top and I changed my skirt. I'll show you. Don't mind this. I just wanted to show you guys that I am calling this is going to be a trend. Like, I feel like, like tying your sweatshirts like this is something. It's going to be something. I'm telling you. So, yeah, but I'm not actually going to wear it like that. Not till it's trendy. So yeah, this is the look. Can wear it off the shoulder like that. I'm just kind of chilly, so I thought I would throw that on. And then, I don't know what's going on with my hair. I took it out of the ponytail, it was giving me a headache. 
But yeah, this is the look. But I'm telling you, that's gonna become a trend. So yeah, trendsetter. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go paint now. grandma's house right now and I'm about to make a special dessert for my grandpa so I'm making key lime pie because I love making key lime pie um, it's one of my favorite desserts but I'm going to be making it sugar-free so this recipe that I've done um, I made it so many times and it always turns out really good but this is the first time that I'm making it sugar-free or the best sugar-free that I can so I will show you the ingredients that I have and we're gonna get started with making it so first I have some Borden's condensed milk. This is the fat-free one. I have a huge pack of limes. It was a big trouble to get these limes. I have some eggs, graham crackers, and Splenda. So basically the first thing I'm gonna do is make the graham cracker crust. So I'm gonna have to crush up some of these graham crackers. Um, and then mix some Splenda and butter into it, and then that will be my crust. Um, normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mix uh, brown sugar and white sugar with the graham cracker crumbs, but we're going to use Splenda as a substitute. And I normally use the red sweetened condensed milk, um, but you know, if this turns out good with the green, I think I might just use the green from now on. The crust I'm a little worried about, but... You know, you'll never know until you try it. So, this is actually better for crushing because it's a flat surface so I can really get everything crushed. Oh yeah, much better. I can really crush them up. I'm gonna pour this butter into this bowl. It's really hot, okay. And that was really hot. And I'm gonna put some Splenda packets in here to add a little sugar sweetness to the graham crackers. So guys, it smells really good. It does? That's the butter. No, it, no, it's the, it's the crackers. Mmm. So, you should really smell this. You have to make your own pie with this. Oh my god, it doesn't so quick. It just smells so good. Alright, so the key lime filling is very easy. There are three ingredients. Limes, condensed milk, and egg yolks. I'm just squeezing some limes right now. It's about eight limes. This is the worst process though because your fingers will burn so much from the lime juice and it's so long but it's worth it. Okay so I just squeezed all these limes and I have some in the sink and um, this is the amount of juice I got. I know it doesn't look like that much but it's actually a pretty good amount and actually this time when I squeezed the limes it wasn't that much work. The limes are pretty ripe so they're pretty easy to squeeze. So now I have my lime juice and I'm gonna add the eggs and um, condensed milk and then we're done. It's super easy so I'll show you guys that and then put it in the oven. I'm just gonna open this. Ah, look at that can. I'm gonna oh, pour that in. Angelic, look at that. It's satisfying. It is so satisfying. Just gonna scoop the rest out. Okay, now that I put the um, condensed milk in, I'm gonna add the eggs. So basically, you're supposed to add the same amount of eggs as you did lime. So I did eight limes, but I like to do one less egg just because I don't think you need that many eggs. So I'm gonna do either seven or six. I don't think it doesn't really matter. Like normally, I think I do like six or seven eggs, and it turns out great. Like it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna do maybe six. I don't know. These are large eggs. So, oh, I forgot to say. Don't put the egg whites, only egg yolks. So I'm just gonna um, like do this in a separate, in the sink and then put the yolks. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now let's mix. Now I'm pouring this. Oh, oh no, I just forgot something. I'm supposed to put the lemon zest. Okay, I'm just gonna grate it on top just a little bit because it adds a touch. Okay, I mixed some of the um, the zest into the, the filling and it turned out good. And now I'm gonna pop it into the oven for 15 minutes and then it goes in the freezer for like two hours. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to um, my aunt's channel, which if you're new, my aunt Leoni. And don't forget to subscribe to um, LRC show, and that would be in the link down below. Good morning, guys. I am doing a workout right now. I've been so inactive all week. I didn't work out at all. So today I made myself get on the treadmill I'm doing Lauren Geraldo's 12 3 30 and yeah I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done all right so I haven't vlogged since literally this morning when I was dying on the treadmill but I just got back from CVS I'm gonna do a quick haul of what I got so first off I got some Neutrogena wipes makeup wipes because I have no makeup wipes a eyelash curler because I don't know if I told you guys this I probably did like 20 million times my eyelashes don't curl, so I got an eyelash curler. Then I got these two makeup white makeup um, eyeshadow brushes. Because I don't have an eyeshadow brush, and I told you guys that. And I also got this beautiful uh, bronzer, highlight, and blush palette. Because I've been using Five Below blush and bronzer, so I thought I needed one of these. I also got this Stay Glossy Elf Lip Gloss. Let's open this because I'm really excited about this. Oh my god, no. I'm so dumb. I was gonna... Okay, so basically I thought this was an Elf Lip Gloss because I watched this YouTuber's YouTube video where she tested out like a bunch of lip glosses. I'll link it down below. And I was like, oh my god, this is great because I've been looking for a lip gloss. And she recommended the e.l.f. lip gloss. And so, literally, it was in the e.l.f. section, but it's not an e.l.f. lip gloss. It's Rimmel London. And I also got this Maybelline Cheek Heat. This is also a blush thing, but it's like a cream one. And I also saw this YouTuber, um, Bailey Dedrick. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Um, did, made like her natural makeup routine video. And she said that she uses, I think it was this, um, like a corally blush, cream blush. And so I wanted to try it. Sorry if I literally am not making any sense. I'm very tired and yeah. Anyway, so that's the stuff I got from CVS. Now I'm going to go paint because I'm going to finish the painting or like do more of the painting that I was working on yesterday. And watch some TV and chill because I'm really tired. And probably tomorrow morning, I'll test out all the new makeup stuff. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So, I was just in the kitchen about to make dinner. And then Alexa was like, oh, um, when you have, like, a yellow ring around um, the Alexa, it means you have a notification. And then she's like, just say, Alexa, read my notifications. And it tells you your notifications. No so, notifications. So, she read that my purse was delivered, and this is the purse that I'm going to be making um, the basketball purse out of. So, I ordered this purse from Amazon, and basically, I'm going to use the pieces of this purse to make this basketball into a purse. Me and Ellie came up with the idea that I'm going to braid a bunch of tiny braids in my hair, and yeah, because my hair looks really bad, and if it turns out really bad in the morning... I'll just wash it. So enjoy. Missing someone. Okay, just half my hair. I'm just gonna do the other half while I watch TV. My siblings and my cousin are trying to convince me to watch this episode of The Haunting Hour. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like goosebumps kind of. But when I was little, I watched this episode 
and it gave me nightmares when I was little and I don't want to watch it again and they're trying to force me to watch it so I don't know maybe I'll watch it I'm feeling a little brave today but I don't know so wish me luck oh my god you guys don't even understand what just happened right now so okay so surprise my cousins are here and I didn't know okay this is what happened. They literally are calling me downstairs. So I was like, okay, I'll come downstairs. I walk in here. I literally sit down. The lights are off. Okay, I sit down here. And then my cousin pops up from there in the darkness. Look, look, look. It's up, um, like, the lights are turned off. Yeah, literally in the dark. She pops out. I literally had a heart attack. And then my other cousin pops up from under the, the a desk. And I literally screamed so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I would watch it creepy myself. cold. Anyway. Oh my god, okay, I'm making this like banana mug cake thing. It looks kind of gross, but it's okay. And Tali is making some weird, nasty dessert. I don't know what she is making. Wait, it's melted butter cheese. And there's my mug cake ooh, 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 with the banana in it. It looks so cool right now. Okay, it's the what you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna try and um, make this basketball purse. So I got the exacto knife. I'm gonna cut these out now, and we're gonna work on that for now. Yes, I did it. I got one done. I took all this disgusting cardboard and leather off. Um, with the help of my mom's jewelry making tools. So now I have to do that three more times, so. This is what it looks like. I literally had to cut it out of the purse, but we're going, we're getting somewhere. Both are off. Okay, so that was actually easier than I thought once I got it done. I have these loops that I took off, so I'm gonna have those on the side. These, both of the um, handles. I have this beautiful uh, zipper that is kind of a disaster, but I'll figure that one out. And this chain. So, I think what I'm gonna do first is cut the basketball. I know, it's a crazy moment. I'm gonna cut the basketball and then I'm gonna have to glue it, glue the zipper in the basketball. I'm gonna try and glue it on the inside instead of on the outside, because it's gonna look bad if I glue it on the outside. So let me get the hot glue gun. And then we can work our magic. Actually, first I think I'm gonna cut it. Okay, I'm very nervous. Okay. Okay, I'm making some progress. I'm like kind of halfway done. This is taking longer than I thought it would. I did it. Okay, so this is where it all went downhill. Basically, I was trying to glue this really uneven and like broken zipper on the inside of the basketball and it just did not turn out at all. And I was struggling so hard and after I burnt myself numerous times, I decided to just stop with this plan. I ripped out the zipper, it was covered in hot glue. It was a complete disaster. And I decided to cut out a different zipper from the purse. Thank God there was a different zipper. So we cut out the zipper from the purse and I glued that one on the outside of the basketball and that is just what I'm sticking with for now. So basically the plan is now, I'm gluing this on this side, the loop. I'm gonna glue the other one on the other side, here. Then, this zipper is just gonna be here and I'm gonna put like some pretty ribbon or something here that will make it look good. And that's planned so far. Okay, so there's been a lot of crazy things happening with this purse. I'm gonna try and um, tell you guys really fast. So, 
I tried to glue the handles onto the purse. It stuck, but I knew it wasn't going to last. So me and my sister spent like an hour trying to peel off the glue from the um, metal, uh, like handles, parts of the handle. And tomorrow or like sometime this week, I'm going to use bolts and stuff to actually get it to stick. Um, and then... I will update you guys with the purse in a different um, video, but this one is way too long, so I couldn't fit all of it in it. So let me know if you guys want like a whole separate video on the purse or something, or I'll just um, just update you guys in another video. So yeah. Okay guys, it's a lot later now, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Bye guys!